This display shows loop phasing, which is the effect describing the push and pull of the electromagnetic fields or detectable areas of the loop when we have multiple loops connected in series to the same detector. A good understanding of loop phasing will allow us to push loops as close as two feet from the gate on each side, which is 50% closer than the normal standoff distance of four feet. This will give us a better coverage of the gate path and allow us to install loops in a tight space application where we normally could not. There is one important rule about loop phasing. For loop phasing to apply, we must have two loops hooked in series to the same detector providing the same function, which is usually reverse. On a slide gate, barrier arm, or door, where the loop's electromagnetic fields are close enough to affect each other, which means phasing is never present on swing gates since the reverse loops are too far apart for the electromagnetic fields to affect each other. In addition, the direction of current needs to be going in the same direction for both loops, meaning if one is going clockwise, the other should also be going clockwise. The display is currently misphase. The direction of current is going in the opposite direction for each loop. When loops are not properly phased, the fields attract and lay over the gate path, which means the gate will be detected. You can see we get a strong detection. I'm now going to properly phase the loops by swapping the polarity of one of the loops so the direction of current is in the same direction for both loops. When loops are properly phased, the electromagnetic fields repel each other and create a dead zone or no area of detection where the gate path is. When we lower the gate, it is no longer being detected. In addition, the fields stand higher, which can lead to strong detections. Thanks for watching.